back YouTubians and Zeonians to Zeon Zone. Today I'm going over the Premier Body Armor Core Plate Carrier with level 3A Cummerbond. So you might ask yourself, why would someone want a tactical vest or plate carrier, body armor, etc.? Well, there's a bunch of reasons. Everybody has their own. Uh, I enjoy playing Airsoft, which is also referred to as Milsim or Military Simulation, where people get into their full kit, full BDUs, plate carrier vests, go out to the forest uh, at a range, at an indoor facility, stuff like that, and play uh, Capture the Flag, almost like real life Call of Duty or in real life Call of Duty, without worrying about uh, taking a real round or a real explosive. So it gets pretty fun, high adrenaline, you can be tense, the more immersed you get in there, the more intense it gets, which uh, is quite fun. So I would recommend it. It's also helpful for actual tactical training, firearms training as well, when you have the realistic uh, airsoft gear, pistols, rifles, etc. doing your mag changes, going down the sights, depending on how accurate your gear is, the more realistic and real, uh, more ap app uh, applicable, that's the word, applicable, to real scenario training. So that's one of the reasons. Other reasons are people want them in case something were to happen, either home invasion, riots, looting, etc. Uh, the world is pretty crazy at times, um, especially the past couple of years. There's been a lot of stuff going down and people are worried about that. Um, having a plate carrier at home, loaded, ready to go with the plates. And if you have to get out of Dodge quick, it's one thing that's protecting you from moving from point A Point B, the car, and point C to your evac location, friends, family, relatives, or just getting out of that area, out of the craziness. So it's not just people wearing them, going to storage stuff. People want them to, and have them to wear them to get out of the danger, out of the craziness, and to safety as well. Um, there are plenty of options out there, different uh, companies, different sizes, different weights, different types of plates for different threats. Uh, a lot of research that uh, goes into it is more geared towards what you want, what your scenario, what your need is. But it's one of those classic things of I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So with that said, uh, let's get to it. Today, I have a little treat for you. I just got in this Premier Body Armor Tactical Vest. It is the uh, core plate carrier with level 3A cummerbund included. Um, I've been looking around for a nice tack vest for training purposes and also a uh, if the shit hits the fan vest to get out of dodge, have the added protection to protect myself and my family. So <clears throat> I've been searching around, searching around, found uh, many other people promoting Premier Body Armor. So I checked them out, looked at a few companies, and decided to go with this one for the price point and what you get. Um, package I opened up and got ready for you. It comes with a little greeting card with some information. A sticker, regular, you know, peel and stick, and this PVC or rubberized uh, Velcro patch with the uh, Velcro backing that you can stitch it onto something and then pop your uh, little emblem here, either on the vest or on something else. Real quick. And in this model, it came with the level 3A uh, cummerbund side uh, soft armor, which is pretty flexible. I don't want to bend and twist it much, brand new. Comes with two of them, so they can go in either side. I'll do that real quick for you. Just to get this part out of the way. You have your cummerbund, it has a touch around, has velcro on the interior. <clears throat> you want to slide it in with the label facing up and or towards you. And let's see, gently side slide this bad boy in like so. There we go. And then there's just enough room for it. This is the large, extra large version. They also have, let me see, wrote down here somewhere, smaller medium, which would come in uh, 4.2 pounds, larger XL, 4.4 pounds, or double XL, 4.8 pounds. So I'm guessing that means. The cummerbund would be larger on the larger plates as well as the inserts since the uh, weight goes up mildly, not a whole lot. But I will get this other one in place here for us. Slides on in like this. And then close it up like that. So now we got our obliques, kidney protection. It is level 3 soft armor, so I think it's up to 44 Magnum. I'll have to double check. They also have a bunch of other armor plates and soft armor listed on their webpage. But uh, let's get through the, uh, <clears throat> the technicals real quick. So it has, they call the, stand that up for you, the first, first spear tubes rapid release technology. So we have the inner tube and then the outer. And to put on, you just slide the clip over, pull a little bit, and it clicks right into place. Holds nice and secure. There is one on the right top for your shoulder strap, one on the right, my apologies, on the left side. Uh, has the uh, clips. The right side has the Velcro closure that you would lift up. <clears throat> this panel, slap it on. The right, uh, left side also has Velcro that comes off that has the um, 
rapid release technology clip on there so you could swap out a different cummerbund if you want keep this one um <clears throat> might be able to get another um full velcro so you don't have the clips i do actually like the clip technology it's pretty uh pretty nifty engineering so it has a uh, reinforced drag handle on the rear looks like it has let's see if i can get you in there it has a triangle stitch pattern and webbing folded over and it looks like the webbing does travel further down into the vest i'm not sure how far down it goes in but at least it's not just attached at the top points on both sides so <clears throat> it does look like it's semi uh, single stitch uh, thick uh, thread on the triangle portion and then double stitch along the bottom and the top of the drag handle you also have the velcro for a patch or whatever other attachment you want um, it does fit 10 by 12 plates uh, the <clears throat> molly as you can see is laser cut so they have the uh, 600 denier polyester, I say it's domestically sourced. So they have the uh, polyester slapped on with the Velcro and then use lasers to cut the slits for your molly webbing versus having um, nylon, polyester, or another material made into loops to thread your molly through, like the standard. Actually, right here, you have the uh, molly webbing stitched onto the cummerbund to att for attachments on the side <clears throat> and also multi-stitched for the molly webbing. Let's see, we cut, going over my notes. All right, so we got the back side here, plastic clips for your adjustments. It has <clears throat> padded shoulders, which are pretty decent sized padding. Uh, so it should be pretty comfortable and wearing. The adjustments are made with Velcro. Pull up the Velcro, make your adjustments. There is a little strap here that you can feed the extra loop through. If you have extra to get it up and out of the way, I'm sure you can also uh, thread through, you know, radio cable or your hydration pack hose. There is not an exterior pouch on the back or a top loading pack for uh, camel packs or your other water pouches. If that's something that you are looking for, that you'd have to put on a either Velcro or Molly setup uh, water carrier if you want that option. <clears throat> As you can see, it's about a one and a half, two inch thick Velcro strap. So you have good purchase on the hook and the loop. So it should stay in place while you're moving and grooving. One thing I did notice on the front pouch is that it does have an interesting fold to it. And it came to mind that would probably be because I don't have plates in this. I did not order plates with it since I wanted to see how the uh, vest holds up and how it looks and how it fits. So this can probably hold your um, thick sappy plates, um, ceramic plates as well. And let's see, let's get this hook out of the way. So how you get out of this thing is you pull the clip back, slide up and out, similar with the shoulder strap, pull forward, and slide and out. It's actually much easier to do while wearing it with the extra weight with plates. So flip it down. So the way you would access your panel would be to use the Velcro flap that's on the other side of the front panel. There's also one on the rear. It has nice sturdy Velcro. And then when you slide your plates in, you know, strike face facing out. And on the inside, they actually show cleaning and care uh, instructions and that this standalone vest without the cummerbund plates is not armor or protective, it's just a carrier. So keep that in mind, you do have to get your own plates or soft armor um, for the front and back if you want actual uh, penetration protection. But in this set, you actually do get the cummerbund with uh, two plates, which is a pretty nifty deal if you think about it. And I'll have to look up uh, pricing later. So yeah, get your plates in there. This is machine washable. There are instructions on uh, what type of wash cycle and detergents and all that, which is awesome that's on the inside where it's not gonna get messed up and come off. So you know how to wash this bad boy. <clears throat> so on the inside, we do have some uh, foam padding with a mesh, which is nice for uh, letting some airflow in, keeping the weight off of the plates on your chest and back, give you a little more uh, comfort, which is a nice addition. Um, over here, let's take a look. It is the same setup and design as the front panel. Has another cleaning instruction on the interior. It does not have a Velcro strap on the inside to really cinch your plate in, but um, it holds the 10 by 12 plates. So I'm sure that it will fit top to bottom pretty well from what I've seen in other locations. And as I momentarily showed earlier, you access the cummerbund to support the Velcro that has your Molly straps, and you can re engage your Velcro on the right side to pop it back together like so, trying to get it nice and lined up and even. And then the right side has the uh, 
attachment. So at this point, oh, that's what I had up. Since it has the Velcro on the interior like this, this is one spot where you can adjust your width. If you're uh, somebody that got some love handles and a little extra meat and needs some extra room, it is fully adjustable. I would think that's about maybe five, four and a half to six inches wide of Velcro. And of course you'd want to give yourself a little extra on here. So I'd say, you know, about two inches of adjustment, two and a half uh, outward on the left and the right. So that'd be four to six inches of adjustment in the width on just the front. And if we flip over to the back, have the same similar setup as the front, has the uh, laser cut molly and some buck on the top. Put the flap opens up, have a Velcro strip here. And on the rear of the carrier, you can see where your hammer bond is attached. It has a bungee cord set up and it's looped through the center molly. So you can uh, pull out the um, bungee, add a little more slack, and then separate your cummerbund outward to add some more uh, length as well. So similar to the front, it overlaps maybe, I would say, three inches on both sides. So you could probably get away with an extra, I'd say, four to six inches on this side. So total, get an extra eight inches of adjustment without losing too much protection, especially since in the front and the back, you'll have your plates in. So the cummerbund um, will be doing its job protecting your sides, but you have that slight less protection of not having the overlapping uh, cummerbund material in the back. And since the uh, sides connect right to the front, you either have a slight gap if you over adjusted outward. Um, thankfully for me, the uh, cummerbund fits perfectly how it is, how it is. So it would give me perfect um, coverage all around my waist and sides. So we pop this back in here and just to close it up, just like that. Once you have your plates in, you would be ready to rock and roll. And just in case I forgot, on the carbon interior, there is a full length of molly webbing as well. Looks like it's very sturdy stitched. So you can offset this as uh, each row uh, has its molly going uh, across and down. So you can put um, extra hard plates either on the inside or the outside. You can put your mag pouches, your radio pouches, etc. So that's actually a really nice feature. If you don't want stuff hanging on the outside or you want them both inside outside, check your stuff that you have that option. So I really like that feature. This cummerbund is really thought out. I really like it. And this is improving just a theory. Since you can access the pouches from the side, I bet you could fit either a six by eight um, hard plate or possibly six by six. I don't have to measure the width of the uh, car bond itself. And I forgot I was in the garage and I have my tape measure. So from the outer width, you've got about from corner to corner, seven and a quarter inches. So with the fold and you have the little lip here, I would say best bet is a six to six and a half inch uh, steel plate or ceramic would fit in here. At least the thin steel ones would fit fairly well. The large ceramic probably wouldn't fit as good if they're an inch thick. You're talking about uh, about an inch of bowing of the material. So it'd be a really tight fit. So you'd probably be able to fit a five and a half, maybe a six inch wide plate. And then to have the uh, length going back to the back of the cummerbund, it would probably be pretty stiff, but you could get around, this is just an estimate folks. There's about nine to 10 inches currently in my setup that you could fit something back there. But keep in mind, if you have a hard plate like that, you would have a stiff side of the carrier, which could be a pro, could be a con, depending on how wide you are and how far the plates in the front and the rear would be pushing off. But that's an option, it has not been tested, so keep that in mind. That is not 100% proven yet. So that's just trying to give you all the info that I can. Um, it does seem like there's plenty of room in the front and the rear, so you could fit, I'm pretty sure you could fit your uh, trauma plates. They do offer them on their webpage that would accompany them. I don't know about uh, spall protection or any extra uh, like soft armor or stuff like that might be a little tight of a fit. So that would be something you'd have to either ask them or try it yourself. But um, those are also viable options. And now for the moment you've probably been waiting for, let's see how this bad boy fits. So we got the shoulder strap off and the cummerbund open as well. Seems like it'd make it easier to get on, even though I'm fumbling a little bit. So one option is get your shoulder strap on first, get the carrier in position, you have your side loops, and I'm not doing this for speed. So then clips on like that. So I haven't fully adjusted it for my size, kind of how it came, but it actually fits fairly well like this. So it's not too tight on the side. <clears throat> Soft armor does form fit very, very nicely. So it feels like it's almost like hugging you on the sides, which you know, that can be good. 
and front carrier. Let's see, it's right, right now it's sitting just below my collarbone and about, let's see, about three fingers from my belly button. So it is fairly comfortable. Um, I don't have any plates in it yet, so I can't tell you if it, you know, the shoulder pads are really nice and sturdy. Um, it is forming to me right now because I don't have the plates, so right now it's some give. But overall, pretty comfy. Because of the cut, I can really bring my arms across once there's plates in. That might be a little more difficult. Now, when I was looking for a carrier, I'm kind of a tall guy. I wanted something with decent coverage. So this will hold the uh, 10 by 12. And what I can see right now, even just measuring, let's see, I'm trying to wide place. So it's about you know, 10 and a half, 10 inches wide. So this would be a very tight fit for a 10 inch plate horizontally. And I got to see where I'm measuring from. So yeah, it would hold 10 by 12, very tight. And I believe you might even need a shooter's cut. I don't know if a, I don't believe a rectangular plate would fit just because of how it's made. You kind of see it throws up like here and the fabric does kind of taper up and down. So I believe a shooter's cut is required for this Otherwise it might be really tight. I know you don't want to have corners on your plates so they don't dig in up here and tear through your material. But that's just my thoughts on that. And kind of see in the back, it goes uh, probably another three or four inches left my back exposed. So that's, at least on the back, that's kind of good because if I wear the tack belt, it's not going to be resting right on it. Not in the way my gear is up in there. I can bend fairly easy wearing it, uh, not pinching on me. But the one thing that does concern me a little bit right now with this vest is that I do have a lot of exposed area up in the shoulders. And at least once the cummerbund's at this point, I do have coverage here going all the way around how I've been uh, cinched up on myself. But you do have a lot of the abdomen exposed and how high it's riding right now, I still have my sides that are open. So for somebody that has a shorter torso length and a bit thinner, this would be a perfect setup for you. I did get the large, yes, large XL, but I believe that's fitting for the cummerbund. The front and back, I believe, I'd have to double check, are one size fits all. Yes, they said it was one size fits all. Cummerbund, you get in different sizes, small, medium, what was it? Uh, yeah, small, medium, large XL, or double XL. So that would be the cummerbund. So your front and back plates or uh, carry parts are all one size fits all. You can adjust in the shoulders, get higher or lower. Right now, it's sitting at the proper height now I cover heart, lungs, all that, all up in here, but I do have my midsection exposed. So a lot of people just are worried about, you know, hearts, lungs, um, main vitals being covered. Me personally, I prefer having that extra inch with a uh, 11 by 12 or a 11 width by 14 would fit me perfectly, able to cover the majority of my abdomen up to my collarbone, and then also give that little extra half inch on both sides to really cover um, the rest of my chest down to this point. <clears throat> so I love the idea of having the soft armor on the sides because it's uh, more form-fitting versus the hard metal plates. Then again, when you have the hard plates properly set up, it does take off some of that weight from your carrier because it's resting and cinching on those plates, so it's not really digging in. So that's one thing to consider when looking for a type of vest. Um, so my overall review or final thoughts of this carrier, it is, it looks really well made. It's comfortable, the extra padding is great. Um, nice thick straps, they're not digging into my neck. Of course, I don't have the weight uh, yet. Um, kind of comes up and out. So they did put a lot of uh, thought into the carrier. I really like the quick disconnect, which I can get out of it now. You just pull back, down, that comes off. Pull up and, oh, there we go. Actually, this one's a little more tricky. Yeah, I was probably pulling the wrong way. And also, once you have weight in there, the weight's gonna help pull and disconnect. So quick release if you need somebody to tend to any wounds or stuff like that. Um, so it's been, it's holding up. I've only put it on, took it off like maybe two, three times so far just to see the feel, how it works for me, get a nice uh, idea on it. Personally, I want that full coverage of the front because if you're engaged, you're going forward and if things are coming at you, you want that, me personally, I want that full coverage from the top down to the gut. Don't want to take that gut shot, go down and get finished off. I want that full coverage to stop whatever's coming at you. So I believe I am going to be looking at another option because to me, having that large coverage, the full plate would be better for me personally. I haven't ran, ran, uh, ran, jumped, rolled around and played in this thing because I believe currently it's about $370 for the vest 
and the cover bundle set up all one package. So for me, something that doesn't fully cover all of my criteria that I want in the vest, it doesn't make sense for me to hang on to it when there are other options out there that do fit the uh, 11 by 12s. My bad, 11 by 14s. I think there's 12 by 14s as well out there. A bunch of companies are coming out with different sizes. Um, sadly, Premier Body Armor does not supply um, 11 by 14s, 12 by 14s, either in plates or in characters. If they did, then I would be set when I'm done, happy with this and rock and roll. But as right now, I'm going to be going with a different option once I find that option, because it is a less, less available for whatever reason. I know people want to have slim, light, able to run and gun, do their thing. Uh, one has the least, or the least amount of weight on your body, added weight to your body, because you're going to have, you know, mags, possibly pistol, other gear on you. So having more streamlined, thin stuff is handy for moving and grooving, as well as you know, transitioning, moving your stuff around. But when you start cutting on the size of protection, you never know what's going to happen, and it's better to have more than not. I've seen people with the little tiny 8x10, well, okay, it's just covering my vitals, I'm good to go, yay. But what happens when you get fucking shot from the front to the sides, or shoulders, or up in this area, it's going to be really hard to stay in the fight and keep going. That's just my personal thought. So, I could be right, I could be wrong, everybody's different. So that's my thoughts. I can recommend this product, I can, and I do. It is really well made, it looks great, it feels great. Looks like they did um, a good job on it. The other thing that throw me off, throws me off a little bit is, try to get in here a little better, behind the strap, as I was mentioning earlier, it is folded and then stitched. This is a drag handle, depending on how heavy you are and how much gear you have on, you're looking at 180 pound person, 20 pounds of armor, now I got 200, and another 20 pounds of gear, looking at 220 plus. Pulling someone with all that weight and then dragging that adds extra force. You know, gravity pull, pushing you down and uh, friction as well added weight. So that pull weight could be you know three, four hundred pounds, and you have a, if you have a two hundred fifty pound guy, you're looking at three hundred pound drag. So seeing that it's only single stitch and flipped over, that could be a weak point if it comes to that. Now are people expecting to go down and need to be dragged with all that weight? Well, the idea of having this is to not get hit and not have to get dragged. So that would probably be one of the flaws in the design. Uh, just a weaker stitching right here. Um, other areas, as you can see here, it's double stitched, as in top and then bottom of the fabric, but it is not two rows of stitching at each stitch point along here as well, um, going through. So that could be really nitpicky, depending on the strength of the thread and the fold of the material and all that. It could last a really long time. It could hold up to whatever you throw at it. And this is just me looking at it without any, you know, uh, test or... Uh, specs on it, what they put it through, okay, they can hold this much weight, this and etc. What they put it through without knowing that, just seeing those uh, single stitches and small amount of material does concern me a little bit. Um, but for your normal day, I guess, normal day, uh, using this for like, you know, airsoft, then again, you do crawl around there, but adding plates in the extra added weight, because I know a lot of steel plates are between seven, between seven and a half to 14 pounds per plate, depending on the size of the plate, the thickness of the plate, the material. If you're running ceramic, the lightweight ceramic or the lightweight polymer, you'd only be having four and four pounds on the front or seven and seven. So uh, it's hard to say how well that would handle uh, that extra weight and extra compression on the back and front. So those are one of the things I kept in mind when I was looking for um, the tack vest. When I saw this one, I saw a picture, I'm like, oh man, that looks beautiful. That looks awesome. It'll fit. It looks like it's big. So I was a little, uh, a little bummed out when I got this and finding out that the models they were having wear uh, were... You know, pretty thin, you know, it looked like it covered, you know, from side to side, top to bottom to the belt. I'm like, okay, that's a good size. And then find out, okay, I got four inches here and then another inch or two on both sides. Uh, I want that extra cover. I'm kind of a broad guy. Hard to tell on the cameras, but, uh, video, but, um, yeah. So I'm on the fence, me personally, on the fence on running this because I want that more coverage, bigger plates and going bigger plates than I, my thoughts are the uh, webbing might not hold up to the extra weight because I know if you're going steel, uh, 10 by 12, you're looking at maybe eight to 12 pounds depending on the material. Once you're adding that extra uh, surface area, extra material, you're looking at maybe 13 to 16 pounds per plate. Plus if you're going steel on the sides, in this case, if it was this carrier and it was big enough to hold the 11 by 14s, 
having this carbon would actually help a lot to save that extra weight. You do go down in coverage, but you save in weight or protection, I should say. So there are give and takes. So <clears throat> if you're a person that you put on your backpack with two books and you feel weighed down, you're going to want to go as light as freaking possible. So having the lighter option, a smaller vest, instead of running the big old plates that cover your entire torso would probably not be your option. Unless you start training in it and working out and working out and working out until it feels like it doesn't weigh out any or it doesn't weigh anything at all after conditioning yourself, then you know, that'd be a way to go. Or look into those options that are the lightweight composite poly, uh, polymer options out there that uh, technology is just rapidly growing, which is awesome. I'm always keeping my eyes out for it. Um, so yeah, so wrap it up for the price. Oh, that's why I forgot. Yes, so 360-ish on sale right now. Otherwise, around 500, 550. So it's interesting because when you talk about, oh, I didn't have an expensive ass vest, but you do have the big old cummerbund uh, armor on the sides that are included, which is a big part of the price point because online, let me look. Yeah, that was the only thing that confused me a little bit with the company. They have the cummerbund and they have the cummerbund armor. But when you look through the products, or at least I did, I tried to go through all of them to make sure I didn't miss anything. They did not have them sold separately. So, which confuses me a little bit, and or it's a uh, competitive type thing where you gotta buy the bundle, you get the whole thing full price. Where instead of someone buying another vest, then buying the cummerbund and armor, and then running just the cummerbund and armor, where they can get their full price out of their um, gear doing a package deal and only buy the package deal. So the cummerbund and armor would be roughly 150, 160 bucks. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I say that because they have a bunch of options out there. They have the backpack, they have the handbag, they got the. Uh, I can't think of the other one. I think they even have a beer cozy made out of the uh, the armor um, available. All these other different options, which run between 150 to 200, 250. A lot of them are on sale right now. So you're looking at if there's a if um, they were selling the cummerbund armor. So if you got two in the package, so it'd be 150 each. So you're looking at 300 bucks just in the cummerbund armor, not the cummerbund or the plate carrier. So with that this current deal, you're looking at 360 ish. Um, I forgot about taxes and shipping and discounts that might be available as well. So you're looking at a carrier that's about 60, 70 bucks, their MRSRP, MRSP. It costs about 60, 70 dollars just for the vest. In the cummerbund, however much more that would be. So I mean, play around with numbers. You're basically paying for the armor and the vest and cummerbund are just kind of tossed in there with a slight price increase or decrease, however you want to look at it. Because I don't believe the vest comes solo. They come with the cummerbund and all that and they're package deals. Sorry for rambling, just want to get you all the information. So with that said, you're getting armor with it. They don't sell you the armor without it. So it's one of those things, well, yeah, I want, I want that cummerbund. I can get this vest. If you have a vest that you love, love wearing it, um, this would be an option if you don't have or can't find a better uh, soft armor plates for your vest with a cummerbund. You could even uh, Frankenstein the cummerbund and the, the uh, plates, or soft armor, my bad, not plates. Soft armor, put it in your own rig rock it, still have the comfortability, the full setup of your regular rig, and then have this vest as a backup. If your good one goes to shit, gets messed up, whatever, um, you'll have a backup, but you also have your side armor set up for your regular rig that you like. So that's one way of thinking about it as well. Um, and that's a nice thing with their, their tube technology. You have the option of taking the cummerbund completely off. You have the option of pulling off these Velcro attachments and run it on any player, uh, carrier you want, or even a chest rig. Boom, have uh, side coverage, added molly pop wedding. And the cummerbund is really well designed. Um, the stitching looks really good. I did just notice, sorry, um, it is single stitch on the Velcro closures. So that could be one of those issues of if you open, close, open, close, open, close, you could uh, wear out the stitching and Velcro could come off. For me, myself, I restitch and fix stitch stitching all the time. So if, say, the stitching were to go south on me, well, I just bust out the needle and thread, redo it save my time or save some money and save the carrier. So if you're like me, that might not be a big issue. If you're also like me and like quality the first time, that won't break down on you. A little on the fence. Sorry, uh, Premier Body Armor. But um, give my honest review, honest feedback. But like I was saying before, it could last a lifetime. It could last six to seven months. It could last a month if you're out there every day, training every day, rolling around, running, gunning, practicing. Um, don't know how long it lasts. There are a lot of people on their webpage and out there that say it is great technology, it is a great vest, it's lasted, I love it, it fits great. So there are people that love it. I have not tossed in plates, I have not ran, or ran around in it, rolled, ran gun, you know, practiced, 
with this unit. And since I might be keeping it, I might not. So I don't want to mess it up and void my warranty. But I want to give you my honest review, let you see it, get a good view. Hopefully it helps some of those minds out there that are on the fence or don't know what to look for. So I can say is um, right now, it's a really good deal. You get soft armor, you get a cummerbund that's great, and you get a plate carrier. If you need a bigger plate carrier, you go get the other plate carrier, you slap this cummerbund and the uh, quick detach uh, straps on it, and you're ready to rock and roll. And oh, I just said that. One second, let me check something, sorry. All right, mine is always racing and thinking about stuff. So the back strap does come off completely. That has your quick detach. I don't recommend this, but it's an option. If you were to get through this vest and you want the quick detach on your other vest, there is a single strap right here that is holding it on. So it is a solid case of plastic. So if you were to Frankenstein it onto your other vest, you like these straps better, that's an option. You could um, open it up, take out this webbing or this strap and this webbing, chop it, and then restitch this stuff onto your preferred vest. That's an option. Don't recommend it because if your stitching isn't good, it can fail on you and then you just tore up a vest. But with the price point, <laughs> uh, with the armor and the carbon, you're looking at $50 to $80, depending on how the range is to the uh, plates, I mean, sorry, the soft armor and the carrier. So in price point for you, not so me, because this carrier isn't going to fit me, actually for me as well, um, $60 carrier with the armor. So if you were to Frankenstein it on another carrier, your $200, $300 carrier or more or less, because you just want the shoulder straps, the crisp, quick disconnect, and the sweet cummerbund, it's an option. So actually, I'm kind of helping out a uh, pre body armor giving that idea because they'd be selling vests, selling cummerbunds and their plates. And yeah, it gets Frankenstein, but at least the consumer at this point when it's this cheap, is basically getting a, let's see, it was $500, $500-ish dollars um, before the sale and all that stuff. So actually you're getting about a $200 yeah, 200 to 250 dollar carrier for 60 or 50 bucks because it comes with the armor and the cover button. There we go. I had to do some math for you here, so hopefully this doesn't run too long. Anyway, so those are options. You can use the whole thing. It looks great. It looks like it might it'll last. Um, they do have a 30 day return policy. If you get it and you're like me, okay, this is too small. I don't like it. You can return it. Just make sure to treat it well. I've been treating this thing really well, keeping it clean in case I do return it. Um, so that's an option. They want you satisfied. So that's great. So kudos to Premier Body Armor for their customer service. And if I think of anything else that you might want to know about this, I'll put it in here in a second. But as of now, I hope this was a great thorough review for you. I hope I gave you some stuff to think about and help you on your journey to protect yourself and your family if the stuff hits the fan or whatever. The training. The, oh yeah, that's another reason. People get these for all sorts of reasons. <laughs> Airsoft. They want to train like in the military or, or military or police. These are great options. For civilians, it's always good to have all your gear. So with that said, if there is a shit hits the fan moment, you gotta grab your stuff, gotta get out of Dodge, something's going down. At least you're going from A to B, house to car, you're protected or more protected. When you're on the road, you're more protected from stray rounds or whatever's going down. You're still protected from uh, outside threats. Just keep moving, keep going and keep your family safe. Once you get to your safe zone, to your rally point, etc. That was going down. With all the crazy craziness that's happening in this world, it's better to have something and not need it, and then need something and not have it. So that's one of the mindsets that drove me for the uh, attack vests. And also, you want to use it for training. If you get it, you want to use it, wear it, and get familiarized with it. Either your loadout, how to transition, move your gear, rifle, pistol, etc. Get uh, used to it, and they're all, and they're also good for added weight for that exercise component. Um, I do firefighting as well, and one of the things we have is actually a weighted vest. Not a tack vest, but weighted vest with all plates. Do push-ups, pull-ups, drag gear because we have this heavy cylinder on our back full of our air, plus all of our other gear. So doing that weighted training really pushes your body, pushes your limit, and it gets you into those scenarios that you're going to be in either in your job or outside. In my case, having all this gear, having to drag hose, bust in the building, climb towers, whatever, it's a nice option as well because those the plate carrier fits much better than my weighted vest. It forms to the body, the plates form to the body better. So it's a great addition for weight training, you know, doing pull-ups, push-ups, even just wearing around the house, getting used to that extra weight, instead of having, you know, full turnouts and a cylinder, air cylinder on your back to uh, <laughs> walk around the house with one of them things, have to buy that, that'd be really expensive. So this is a nice option to get that weighted feel, that weight on your body, evenly dispersed, so you don't injure yourself while trying to train, get your legs, your shoulders, your body, used to that weight, moving and grooving all the time. So those are, Bunch of different reasons to have them. 
and why people get them if you aren't informed on why people get them. So that said, thank you for watching. Hope I helped out. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, build this channel. So hopefully I can bring you more and more gear and more reviews and build the channel and help all of you out there and answer your questions. So keep on creating, keep on fabricating. Have a great day.